Hi folks, how are we all doing today? Today it's time for us to create a bouncing ball app on MIT App Inventor. Okay, so on Scratch, maybe we might have uh, done something like bouncing or something, maybe. Um, but yes, on the app, if you want to create a bouncing ball effect, right? Let's see how can we do that. It's, it's pretty, pretty simple on MIT App Inventor to create a bouncing ball. Okay, so let's quickly style our screen and then get started without any delay, right? So I'm quickly starting off with the screen design. So let's get background color. I think I'll just give a green color. Okay. And then we will be needing a canvas. So to get the canvas, let's go to drawing and animation, drag a canvas. You can change the height and width as fill parent and fill parent. Okay. So you can definitely change the background color. So I'm just giving green color so that it looks um, uniform all around. And then we will be needing a ball sprite. So on the ball sprite, let's just change the radius as step. Okay. So basically we have to design the app and then we have to start coding it. Correct. So that's why we are uh, focusing upon the design first and then we can start coding. Right. So I would say uh, this is the design. Right. We have completed the design successfully here, saying we have added a canvas component and then the ball sprite, okay? So on the sprite, you can actually change the paint color, paint color to white. So I would say a white ball, uh, like on the golf ground, you have a white ball, right? So something like that, <laughs> okay, cool. So you have some ball properties also. But I would want to tell you something like uh, about two properties, okay? One is heading. Heading property is basically the angle towards which direction it is heading to, okay? And speed is basically the speed of the ball, right? So we are going to use heading property and speed property now for uh, doing the bouncing ball app. So that's why we've, uh, I'm and we've discussed about them, okay? And then, uh, yes, the design is completely done, right? Now we can go to blocks. So in blocks, we have to start using uh, ball blocks first, right? So because uh, ball has to be flinged first, right? Then uh, it actually does something, right? So when you fling the ball, so fling is basically like that swipe you do, okay, on the ball. So if you just swipe the ball on the screen, it uh, starts moving. And after movement, whenever it touches the edge, it has to bounce back. That's how we are creating a bouncing ball. So let's quickly go to ball. So we can get this thing called as when ball one flung. So flung is basically like a, a quick swipe on the ball, right? So now uh, when you do that thing, so when ball one is flung, we have to set the heading and we have to set the speed of the ball for the movement, right? So I'm just getting a dark green block, set ball one heading two, okay? So and then uh, also we need speed, so set ball one speed two. So we are setting ball one heading two and speed two. So from where can we get heading and uh, speed, right? So heading is actually inside this flung event block, event handler. So when you just hover over heading, you get the head, uh, getter block and setter block. We need getter block. So set ball one heading to get heading and set ball one speed to get speed. That's it. That's how simple it is to get the speed and heading. Okay. You need not go anywhere to get it. In the event handler itself, you have all these outputs which are given by flung event handler. So it gives you the x value, y value, speed, heading, x velocity, and y velocity. All these things are given, right? If you want to maybe, you know, deal with the speeds and all, velocities of the ball and all, you can actually get x well and y well, okay? But however, we need uh, heading and speed and we got them, right? But uh, heading and speed, what does these do? When you fling, that means when you swipe the ball, right? So the ball starts moving and when it touches the edge, it stops there. Okay, so now from the edge, it has to bounce back, isn't it? 
to bounce it back we actually have another event block called this um, when ball one edge reached okay so when ball one edge reached edge reached is an event handler which actually is used when uh, edge is reached so it can be any edge okay so it also gives you the output of get edge okay now so we basically have to make it bounce so let's quickly go here in the event i mean method calls we actually have ball 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 sorry ball one bounce right so i'm just deleting this and getting the get edge okay so from whatever edge it is it will just start bouncing back from there okay so that's it this is all about our um, bouncing ball app right so this is how simple it is to make the bouncing ball on mit app inventor i hope you enjoyed this video and you also got to understand uh, how to do that right i'll quickly execute this and show i mean see and i will let you know about the output guys so just give me a second to connect it and then I will see execute it and I will let you know about the result. So we just have to fling on the screen, like swipe the ball on the screen, right? To start the movement. Wow, it starts moving with the swipe. And then whenever it touches the edge, it is just bouncing back. Cool. We have created this bouncing ball effect now. Wow, in whatever speed you fling it, right? So in that speed, it just goes cool. So nice. Starts bouncing very much quickly. I actually have uh, flinged it so hard. So it's so fast and uh, to look at it is so cool. I hope uh, you will be creating this and you will be enjoying this app on your phone right uh, so i hope you enjoyed this video too and hope you learned something new about the flung event and the bounce uh, for method call right so i'll be meeting you all in the next session thank you so much for watching this video guys and uh, please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks bye folks have a great great day all